The Holy Spirit is at work around you, whether you can see it or recognize it or not. There are people who are brought into your lives. You all have circles of influence. You have patterns that you live by. You have relationships, neighbors, community, all these things that are working like this incredible web. And all we ask you to do is prayerfully open your eyes and say, Jesus, who have you placed in my path that needs to know you? Every believer is commissioned to be a mouthpiece for the gospel. Every believer is called to follow him. And part of following is doing what he does, offering the same grace. Most people are intimidated because they gotta have a plan. No, you be a person who follows Jesus. You let your life, your fruit match what you say and you articulate very, very simply. Or you can be a guest or host. And I've realized a guest is someone who is being hosted by somebody else. And so they typically expect somebody to take care of them, somebody to serve them, somebody to be aware of them, see them and, and, and take care of them. But when you become a follower of Jesus, you become a host. And hosts are different from guests. And these are some of the ways. Hosts see other people. It's not, they don't walk in the room and go, here I am. They walk in and say, there you are. I know you. They see others, they serve others. It's not about being served. Jesus himself says, for the son of man came not to be served, but to serve. We serve other people, we speak truth to others. You can't operate without the truth. And you show that fruit that matches it to other people.